Hey there, Matt Allington here. Today I'm going to show you some more Power Query tricks. And um, so the objective today, what I wanted to do was, uh, this is my forum, powerpivotforum.com.au. And what I was wondering is, which posts get the most traffic? And uh, I thought that would be interesting because if I see which posts people look at the most, I'll be able to work out what topics people are interested in. I can use that to create blog articles and videos and so forth. So let me just sort of go to one of these articles here. You can see on my website that I've got the number of views. So obviously this article has had more interest over time than this one. Of course, there is some relationship between you know, the date and the views. But just to keep it simple, I'm just going to try and extract all the details of all the posts and the number of views that they've got. And you can see I've got 18 pages here. In fact, what I want to do is I'm going to do uh, this just for the post that I've participated in. So let's go here and here's my post, 962 posts. And you can see here that um, these are all the posts that I've made and how many views that post has had. So this is what I want to do. I want to go and grab the list of all of these posts, their titles, how many views they've had and the hyperlinks. And in fact, this is the final result. I'm going to build this again from scratch just to show you how I did this. So uh, let me get rid of this. And I'm going to write a new workbook. And of course, I'm going to use Power Query, uh, get data from web. OK, so I need the URL. And I'm going to start with this URL here. Now, ultimately, I want to turn this into a function so that uh, you can see here that there's, there's actually 10 posts on this page. And then I've got to jump to the second page for the next log and the third page for the next log. So what I did was I clicked on number two here and notice, just let me go back here, notice how the URL looks this way. And then when I go to page two, this other information comes up. Now this is very common. And so if you look at anything after this question mark, you can sort of decipher it. It's a list of posts. Author ID is 48, so I'm guessing that's me. And it says start equals 10. Now I know that there's 10 per page. So if I go to page 3, start equals 20, start equals 30. But back on page 1, it didn't say start at all. So just using a little bit of intuition here, if I go start equals 0, it gives me I have a problem. And then if I go back to, uh, to where I was before, I have a problem with DAX formulas view 26. And if I come here and say start equals zero, I have a problem with DAX formula number 26. So I can actually add this equal start onto the URL even for the first page. So this is going to be my starting position. I'm going to copy that. And let me go back here, paste it in, click OK. And uh, OK, so here's the website, here's the document. OK, this is one of those websites that doesn't have the data in a tabular format. But no worries, we have a solution for that. So I'm going to click Edit. Uh, this solution was an article on my blog by my friend Ivan. Um, I'll put a link on the screen so that you can go and read that article if you like. So the trick is to go back to the source and to change this from being HTML page to a text file. So this will actually read the HTML page as a text file, just like you can see here. In fact, I need to delete this navigation step. All right, so the next thing I did was I need to go and find uh, the data that I want to extract. So what I did was I just came up here and I just copied this. Uh, in fact, I might just, I'll drop the re and I'll just take this piece here. And I'm going to come in here and just do a search. So here we go. There's the this is the stuff that I'm looking for. And if I just click here, down the bottom here, you'll see that we've got this interesting setup. In fact, there's this, this section here that says topic. So that looks very promising. And if I go back and look at this page, I can't see the word. Oh, here it is, topic. So this is basically what I'm searching for. Because everywhere I've got a new topic, I've got this line of code. So what I'm going to do, delete that step and go back and put a filter on contains topic with a colon and there we go 10 rows of topics that contain the topics okay so now if i look at one of these topics you'll see that this i've got this dot backslash view topic 
and these ampersands and stuff. So what I did was I came down here. I'm going to ignore this SID because that looks like a, a GUID and I doubt that I need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this bit of code here and try and rebuild it in my browser. So come over here. I wonder if I can duplicate this tab. Yep. So I'm going to take Power Pivot Forum, get rid of this search and see whether I can replicate this. Now this ampersand amp, that's very common in HTML. That basically just says I want to use an ampersand. So this is view topic f equals 6, so f is the forum number, and topic equals 115. I guess I don't need that. So if this works, I'm looking for this post here. So if I click enter, so there we have, I have a problem with the DAX formula. If I go back, I have a problem with the DAX formula. So that's it. This is the format of the URL that I need to extract. So let's get back in. So I'm looking for F equals 6 and T is 1155. Okay, so there's T is 1155. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an add column from example. And I'm just going to see whether this new U-boot system will extract this automatically for me. So 1155, bingo, there it is. You can see that it's smart enough to go and find that code for me. So that's the, um, so this one, I should have actually changed that before. So this is going to be the topic ID. And then let's do it again and see if I can grab the forum. So I go column from example. And in fact, I'm going to try and grab f equals 6 just to save me another step so there we go and this one is the forum id now because i didn't grab the t i'm just going to come back i should have done that to start with but i'll just add a prefix t equals okay so oh, i did that as a um, add column instead of a transform. So let me go back and do that. Format prefix t equals. All right, so now I've got these two bits of information. I need to rebuild this URL. So I need this bit and then I need to append the other bits. So I'm going to add a column, a custom column, and it's going to have that bit and I'm going to concatenate the forum ID and then I need to concatenate an ampersand and then the topic ID and hopefully that will be the URL. So let's have a look. Did something wrong there. Ah, I missed an ampersand. Okay, let's have a look at this. So if I click here, let me just test one at random, come down and copy it, come up here paste it in, bingo, okay, so that's working. All right, now, I'm pretty sure I can get rid of this now, and in fact, all right, so these are in order down the page, one to 10, and so I'm going to actually add a merged column. In fact, I wanna do it the other way around. I'm gonna just, I just wanna create a unique ID for each of these. I might uh, merge them with a so this is a unique ID. So now I've got a unique ID. And I'm also going to add an index column. I'll show you why I'm doing this shortly. But basically on this first page that I've gone to, this one here, these are the topics in order from 1 to 10. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to go back to the beginning and extract the number of views. So to go back to the beginning, I need to start here again. So I'm going to add a custom step and this is going to be equals source. So that takes me back to the beginning. And this time, I've got to go all the way back here. I'm looking for this number here, 26. In fact, this is the information I'm after, this views information. So let me try that. So what I did before is I came here, filter, text, filters, it contains views with a colon. Okay, 26, 8, 57, 9, 38. 26, 8, 57, 9, 38. So you can see that I'm getting the list of views in the same order. 
So I'm going to use the same trick as before, column from examples. This is going to be 26. So there's the views. Okay. So I don't need this. And I'm going to perhaps turn that into a whole number. And I'm going to add that index column again. So now you can see that down the page 1 to 10, this is the number of views. And if I come back to here, 1 to 10, these are the articles. In fact, what I forgot to do here is I forgot to extract topic name. So that was a bit of an oversight. So here it is here. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm just this is pretty easy to fix. I'm just going to come back, click on the last step where I did have this column. And then I'm going to do column from examples, insert the step, just paste that text. Oh, it didn't find it automatically. Uh, that's because it's the wrong one. I need this here. So let me place that in there. Okay. And this is the topic description. Let's come back here. So I've obviously removed. Let's come back here. All right. So there's the topic description, the URL, etc. All right. So now index 10 is number format when using. And if I come back and just check, that is 431. And I'll come back here and check number format 431. Okay, so they align. So now I need to join these two tables together. So to do that, I'm going to use a little trick. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to merge the queries on that index number. Now using the UI, you actually can't come back and refer to this previous step. So I'm just going to merge it on itself. The reason I'm doing this is it automatically generates the code for me. So here's the code. I wouldn't have known how to write that myself. Um, but it's just basically merged itself on itself, which in itself is pretty useless. So, so added index one is this and added in, I might just rename this. It just makes it easier. So this is my main table. And so now I'm just going to say nested join instead of added index one index column. I'm going to on the left hand side, I'm going to use the main table and then I can come and extract the views. So there we have it. Let's test again. Many to many filters is the second to last 825. Just make sure that's right. Many to many filters 825. OK, excellent. So that's pretty much the data that I need. I might remove this column now. I don't think I need that. I pretty much want everything else. I wonder if there's uh, there's no data type there for URL, which is a little bit unfortunate. OK, so now I'm going to turn this into a function. One page because I want to now repeat this for 0 to 10, 11 to 20 and so on. So I'm going to turn this into a function, come into the advanced editor. And here's the starting point. I'm starting at 0, but I want that to be a optional parameter. So I'm going to go start ID gets passed as a function. Whenever I create a function, I never delete this line of code. It's too hard if you make a mistake. So I always duplicate it, put in um, a comment. And now instead of hard coding it for zero, I'm going to pass the parameter start ID. And this should be now a function. And so if I say start at 11, Ooh, didn't like that. Okay, the reason it didn't like it is because because it's a number. So let's just delete that. All right, what I should do here, start ID as text. I think that will do it. So let's try this. All right, so that works as 11. If I change it to 21, 31, you can see how that all works. So um, I wonder if I, I guess I could start at 10. doesn't matter if I pick up the same one twice because I can remove them later on. All right. So now let me delete that. I know that's working. Let me do the next step, which is I need a list of pages. So if I come back to my forum, I'll see 
that there are 97 pages so uh, which means the topics there's 10 per page that's so going to go up to 970 so what I think I'll do here is I'm going to create a new query a blank query and I'm going to start off by writing a list from um, let's go from 0 to let's just go to 100 I don't think it's going to hurt so number 0 to 100 turn that into a table and this is type any I'm going to change it actually what I need to do first turn it into a whole number and then I need to multiply it by 10 to get the topic numbers 0 10 20 and so on and uh, I need to turn this back to text now now I've got text I can invoke my custom function and I can pass that function to that page and now I should be able to extract oops should be able to extract all of the details there we have it it's looking pretty good I don't need this column anymore I might as well keep these topic ID forum IDs um, I might just do an auto detect data type it's not going to hurt and that's pretty much it so um, forum topics uh, what I might do on this unique ID I'll just remove the duplicates let's go remove duplicates and uh, I think that's it I uh, might just sort biggest to smallest close and load okay there you have it folks um, data extracted I'm going to use this to drive some of my future blog posts if you want to learn how to be awesome with Power Query, I do have an online Power Query course. I teach you how to do this stuff using the UI. You don't have to be an expert programmer to be able to do the things that I've just demonstrated. So check out my training online.